Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to Personascope. Today, we've got a juicy topic that's bound to make you rethink your dating game. We're diving deep into the six oblivious mind games in dating that you might not even know you're playing. If you're ready to take your dating game to the next level, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you won't want to miss what's coming up. Mind Game 1. The Blurred Lines. It's a dating game that many of us have played, knowingly or unknowingly, and it can be quite confusing. What am I talking about? It's that situation where you're spending time with someone you're interested in, but you're not entirely sure if it's dating or just hanging out with a friend. The lines are blurry, and it's time to make them crystal clear. So why is it important to tackle this blurred lines game? Well, it's simple. When you're in this state of uncertainty, it can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings, and missed opportunities for a deeper connection. But don't worry, we've got your back and we'll show you how to navigate this tricky terrain. Step one. In this dating game is to define the relationship. Yes, it might sound a bit official, but trust me, it's crucial. It means having an open and honest conversation with the person you're spending time with. Ask them what they're looking for and share your own expectations and desires. This is not about rushing into commitment, but about setting clear boundaries. Remember, communication is key. By having this conversation, you're not only ensuring that both of you are on the same page, but you're also showing that you value honesty and respect in your dating journey. Mind Game 2, The Silent Treatment. We've all experienced it at some point, right? That sinking feeling when someone you've been dating suddenly goes radio silent, leaving you in the dark. It's frustrating and can play with your mind. But guess what? You're not alone, and there's a way to tackle the situation without losing your cool. The first thing to understand about the silent treatment game is that it's not about you. It's often a reflection of the other person's communication style or their own issues. So how do you handle it? When faced with the silent treatment, it's essential to remain calm and patient. Give the other person some space. It's not necessarily a sign of disinterest. Sometimes they might be dealing with personal matters or need time to collect their thoughts. Now, while giving them space is essential, it's also crucial not to blame yourself. Don't jump to conclusions or assume you've done something wrong. Instead, use this time for self-reflection and self-care. But what if the silent treatment continues for an extended period? Well, it might be time to have an open and honest conversation. Ask the person about their communication style and express how their silence makes you feel. This can lead to a deeper understanding and potentially strengthen your connection. Remember that the silent treatment can be a tough situation, but it's not insurmountable. Mind Game 3. Mix Signals. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where someone you're dating sends you a flurry of mixed messages? It can leave you scratching your head and wondering what's really going on. The first thing to know about mixed signals is that they often come from a place of uncertainty or fear. When you're receiving mixed signals, it's essential not to jump to conclusions. Don't assume that the other person is playing games or trying to confuse you intentionally. It's often more about their internal struggle and confusion. To tackle mixed signals, you can start by having an open and honest conversation. Express your own feelings and ask the person about their intentions and where they see the relationship going. This can bring clarity and help both of you understand each other better. Remember to trust your intuition as well. If something doesn't feel right, pay attention to that gut feeling it's your inner compass guiding you in the right direction. As such, communication is the key, and discussing your feelings and expectations can help both parties gain clarity and move forward. If you're enjoying this video so far, click the like and subscribe button. Mind Game 4, The Waiting Game. Ah, the art of waiting for a text, a call, or a date invitation. We've all been there, right? It can be nerve-wracking and often leads to overthinking. The waiting game is all about the anxious moments when you're expecting some form of communication from your romantic interest. You check your phone, refresh your messages, and wonder why they haven't reached out yet. So how can you avoid this game and keep your cool? 
First and foremost, it's essential to maintain your independence and not revolve your life around waiting for that message. Remember, your life is full and exciting even without their communication. Keep yourself busy with your hobbies, work, and social activities. Instead of overanalyzing their actions, focus on your own self-worth. Don't let your happiness depend on someone else's timing. You are valuable and deserving of respect and attention. If you find yourself constantly checking your phone, consider setting specific times for it. This can help reduce anxiety and give you more control over your emotions. Remember that the waiting game doesn't have to be a part of your dating journey. Keep living your life to the fullest, maintain your self-worth, and you'll attract the right person who values your time and attention. Mind Game 5. Playing Hard to Get. This one's a classic, and you've probably encountered it in your dating journey. It's when someone acts disinterested to make themselves seem more appealing. The premise of playing hard to get is all about creating an aura of mystery and challenge. It can be enticing, but it can also leave you feeling frustrated and uncertain about the other person's true feelings. When someone plays hard to get, the first thing to remember is not to take it personally. Their behavior is often a tactic rather than a reflection of their genuine interest in you. The key here is to maintain your self-confidence and not become overly invested too quickly. Don't chase them or become too available, but also don't let their behavior affect your self-worth. Remember, you are a catch and the right person will appreciate your authenticity. Balancing your level of interest is crucial. Show that you're interested, but not desperate. Keep the lines of communication open and reciprocate their efforts, but don't make them the sole focus of your life. Playing hard to get can be a strategy people use but it's essential to strike the right balance. Maintaining your self-worth and showing genuine interest without becoming overly invested is the key. Authenticity and open communication are always appreciated in dating. As such, when you encounter someone playing hard to get, remember to stay true to yourself, maintain your self-worth, and strike a balance between showing interest and maintaining your independence. Mind Game 6, Jealousy Inducers. Have you ever had someone try to make you jealous to get your attention? It's a sneaky dating game that can stir up emotions and leave you wondering how to respond. When it comes to jealousy inducers, it's important to understand that this tactic often stems from insecurity or a desire to test your level of interest. The person might believe that making you jealous will make them seem more appealing. The first step in handling jealousy inducers is to stay composed and not react impulsively. Reacting with jealousy can often fuel the other person's behavior and make the situation more complicated. Instead, focus on open communication. If you feel that someone is trying to make you jealous, calmly express how their actions make you feel. Sharing your emotions can lead to a deeper understanding and potentially a change in their behavior. Remember, you have a choice in how you respond. You can choose not to engage in these mind games and maintain your self-worth and dignity. There you have it, folks. Recognizing and addressing these games can be a game changer in your dating life. If you like this video and you would like a part two of this video, comment part two in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us on this journey today. If you found this video valuable, kindly click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and remember to enable notifications so you stay updated with our content. Keep progressing, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.